Are you tired of annoying ads slowing down your network and compromising your online security? In this video, we'll show you how to block all ads on your network using PF Blocker NG and PF Sense. This powerful combination of tools will help you take control of your online experience, improve your network performance, and protect your devices from malicious attacks. We'll take you through a step by step guide on how to set up PF Blocker NG and PF Sense and demonstrate how to block ads on your entire network. By the end of this video, you'll be able to enjoy a fast, secure, and ad-free online experience. So let's get started. Go to System Then Package Manager, search for PF Blocker NG. Select PF Blocker NG Devil. This is the recommended version. You might notice there are two versions PF Blocker NG and PF Blocker NG Devil. The Devil version isn't unfinished, like the name suggests. It's actually the actively maintained and updated release with the latest features, bug fixes, and compatibility improvements. The plain PF Blocker NG version is older and rarely updated, so most people, including the PF Sense community, recommend using PF Blocker NG Devil for better performance and up-to-date block lists. After the installation is done, head to Firewall and click on PF Blocker NG. When you first launch PF Blocker NG, you'll see the Setup Wizard. Think of it as a guided first-time setup that saves you from digging through every single menu manually. It helps you turn on the main features, IP blocking and DNSBL ad blocking. Select which interfaces to protect, like your WAN and LAN, and apply the recommended firewall rules are no automatically. In short, it gives you a working PF blocker G configuration right away so you can start blocking ads and unwanted traffic in minutes instead of spending hours tweaking settings. By the way, DNSBL stands for Domain Name System Blacklist. In the DNSBL web server configuration, the VIP address, short for Virtual IP Address, is the special address PF Sense uses to sinkhole blocked domains. When a site is on the blacklist, DNSBL redirects that request to this VIP instead of letting it reach the real server. By default, PF Blocker NG sets this to an address that's not used by anything else on your network, usually something like 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 In most cases, you should keep the default unless it conflicts with an IP range you already use. Leave the rest at the default and click Next. Once you finish the wizard and save the settings, PF Blocker NG will run its first update automatically. This downloads all the block lists you selected, applies the firewall rules, and starts the DNS BL service. Basically, it goes from fresh install to fully blocking ads and bad domains right away without you having to click anything else. If you scroll down, you will see the updates in progress. When the update finishes, you'll see a message at the bottom. Read the important message. PF Blocker NG does work right out of the box if you complete the wizard. The default settings with the included block lists will already stop a lot of ads, trackers, and malicious domains across your network. You only need to make changes if you want to. Add more block lists for stronger protection whitelist domains that got blocked by mistake. 
enable extra features like GOIP, country blocking, and fine tune performance if you have a large network. For most beginners, I recommend running it with the default wizard settings for a week or two, then check the logs to see what's being blocked and adjust from there. That way, you start simple and avoid breaking things. As you can see, already ads are being blocked. Uh, I can see some Google ads and Bing ads have been blocked. If you want to whitelist some ads, you can do that from here. After a refresh, as you can see, the number of blocked ads have increased under DNSBL feeds. You can add popular ad block lists. These lists are maintained by the community and updated frequently to catch new ad networks. The feeds area is where you choose the actual block lists. PF Blocker NG will use each feed is a list of domains known for serving ads, tracking users, or hosting malware. You can pick from popular community-maintained feeds like EasyList, Easy Privacy, uh, or Stephen Black's Unified Hosts file. When you enable a feed, OPF Blocker NG will automatically download it during updates and use it to block those domains for every device on your network. You can also check some stats. Pef Blocker NG has a lot of sections and options in the dashboard, more than we can cover in one video. But here's the good news. You don't have to understand every single one to start blocking ads and unwanted traffic. If you follow the wizard and enable DNSBL with a few good feeds, PF Blocker NG will work right away. Later, if you're curious, you can explore the dashboard at your own pace to customize things like adding more feeds, fine-tuning rules, or even blocking whole countries. Uh, for now, we'll stick to the essential steps so you can get it running fast and you can learn the rest as you go. That's it. You've just set up a network-wide ad blocker with PF Blocker NG on PFSense. No more ads, no more trackers and a faster, safer internet experience for every device you own. If you found this helpful, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more PFSense and networking tutorials. See you next time.